Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the YouTube channel. How are we all doing today? Oh, mate, it is your boy blinded by the sun wombat. And it's, uh, it's a good day today. The only downside is I've got no fucking petrol, apparently, but... Oh, gas, as you Americans say, even though I don't know why you call it gas. It's not, it's a liquid. Anyway, <laughs> gasoline, baby! We're on the old freedom machine right now. Um, we can't see much of what we're adventuring through, but... That should all change when I take this corner, because fuck me, this this sun is in the absolute worst location. Whew. Oh, there we are. It's a lovely week ahead of us, so I thought I'd chuck a few more vlogs in whilst the weather's sunny. Because, man, do you know how miserable it has been lately in Melbourne? It's just been bloody rain and rain and more rain. <sighs> but there is exciting news ahead. And that exciting news is involving a lovely little MC-19 and a lovely little colour change, baby! If you look inside my community tabs in the uh, YouTube profile, you'll see me, uh, I posted a photo of the bike. And that bike is delicious. Now you'll see, it's got the MC-22 style fairings, alright? So it's not like the MC-19 white, it's a bit different. Ah. I had to uh, scratch my nose at <laughs> the worst time. So the MC-19 white, it's a bit more boring looking, but it's gorgeous in its own way. The MC-22 one is a bit more funky looking. Nice. So Jason's got a lovely, lovely white one, and that will be revealed soon in a vlog, all right? Get excited, boys and girls, because that shit, ah, oh, fucking fantastic. It's so good. So, um, Apparently, it took all day to do the ferry, so Jason took it to one of our mates, and our mate's done all the work for him. And then old mate Jason was putting his lovely quad lock on, and the sausage dropped the fucking Allen key back inside the bike. Now, normally you go, oh, just shake the bike, don't worry about it, just get it out again. Well, in this case, it wasn't so easy. So, we had to, and by we, I mean I held the light up. <laughs> they pulled the bike apart, and got the magnet out and fucking spent, I don't know, it was like 30 minutes, an hour, trying to find that Allen key. It was honestly a bit of a disaster, mate. And uh, after that all happened, well, the bike was finally ready. It was funny when that happened, though. The guy just looks at him and goes, for fuck's sake. <laughs> As you would, you know, because he's obviously done this before. Is He understands how much work it takes to pull the bike apart. And he's just like, fuck me. Now there's two little things that piss me off about this because it's the tank is just a tank cover so you see the yellow around the ring and there's like little bits near the bottom part where the tank can still be seen and that's the two little bits that bother me honestly the rest of it perfectly fine so oh, the yellow bike is no more even though apparently it was never really supposed to be yellow as I said but shit I'm excited no update for Hugh and his uh, fucked up scenario MT09. Eh, uh, honestly, it's a damn shame all around. Well, let's look here. Three, two, one. Ah, I think I got a bit more trust in the tyre now to actually do a bit of a lean. Because <laughs> when I changed it, you know how new tyres are. Slippy, slippy, boys! So right now, we're just on the way to get some petrol. I thought I'd give you guys a little cheeky update on the... MC09 and the uh, CBR 250 MC19, but hey, 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 I'm excited for seeing that white machine in a few rides soon. Keen as a motherfucker, and you guys should all be pretty excited. So basically, if you just Google a white MC22, that's what the bike looks like, but it's an MC19. If you look at the community tab, I did post a photo, and uh, if you like it, leave a comment on it, because hey, your boy likes comments. But um. If you don't like it, let me know down below. And if you've ever owned one of these older school bikes, leave a comment. I'll be happy to chat about it. Because, man, shit. It's just good stuff. Oh, and also, leave a like for the algorithm. Comment for the algorithm in there. <laughs> Subscribe, you motherfuckers. Please. Uh, I'm trying to hit a higher number by the end of the year. And at the moment, it's, it's not looking so good. Uh, but apparently, according to some maths and science and all that wizardry, 
If I don't ask, you don't do it. So, uh, yeah. Oh, mate. Fly it in the Corolla. Calm down there, buddy. But, uh, man, shit. Sunny weather's ahead of us. Good times. Great classic hits. Skull 104.3. And, uh, man. Well, hopefully you guys are out on your bikes riding. It's a damn shame the past two bike nights have been pissing down with rain. It's like, I don't care if it's wet. I care if it's raining. I don't care if it's cold. That doesn't bother me ever. But, um, man, some of the other rides I've done in the cold, they get a little, little nippy nippy. So, like I said, I'm pretty sure I said in the last video I went out to Berwick and it was so cold, my, I came back radiating cold like a fridge, which was pretty bit, pretty memey, honestly. Well, off to the petty station, mate. You know how it is. Got to get that premium 98 octane because we need that high octane for this. Well, we don't probably need it. I know this can run an E10 if I wanted to, but <laughs> that ain't gonna fucking happen, let's be honest. But yeah, man, went out to the bike dealerships the other day. That was pretty fun. Um, sat on some new uh, new bikes, model, uh, bike models. Sat on my lovely Triumph Speed Triple 1200 RR. I still love that bike. It has a special place in my heart just because of how sexy it is. And uh, I sat on an Aprilia RS34 factory, actually. And holy shit. I struggled getting my foot up and over the um, back end of that bike because it's so like up in the air. So shit, man, that was uh, I'm like, holy shit, <laughs> this is this, this is a serious boy, serious boy back. And um, well, I love my S1000 double R's, so I'm still mm, undecided on what bike I want. And at the current rate I'm going, I'm not going to be able to afford one for a while, which is a bit of a shame. But hey, man, I can't see the future. Good things can always be on the horizon. Who knows? Maybe they are. Hey. It's really funny. I went to um, get my bike serviced a while ago. They told me my front brake needs to be changed. But I fucking very rarely actually use the front brake in uh, reality. So I was like, what? What do you mean? They're like, oh, yeah, you must use it a lot. I'm like, uh, I don't think I've used it in the past, like, two weeks, mate. What do you mean? I use it so sparingly. Just cruiser things, man. <laughs> Never using the front brake. Now, the only downside of winter like area right now, because we're still in order for uh, the rest of this month, but it's getting dark so fast. It's only going to get worse. It's going to get even colder, even more miserable with this. The next like seven days, sunshine. Fucking so keen, so happy. Now, boys and girls, these mobile speed cameras on this street, they get you. I don't know why they don't give signs like they do in other countries, like states here. We have other states that do the signs. Here? No. They're like, ah, nah, fuck you. I think they're, was it Queensland or something has the mobile cameras and they have the signs. They took it down and their revenue went from like $2 million to $52 million in a year. And then everyone was like, ah, uh, what the fuck? And then they put the signs back. And in Melbourne, they go, oh, daddy, oh, you're just fucking give you your money oh we don't like that but we won't really complain uh, it's for the best and honestly it's a damn shame all right it's a damn shame oh man this video all over the place in terms of like topic it's like, eh, how youtube should be not every video needs to be a fucking educational something or other or like this video is to, uh, topic like i usually do that but uh not every time it's like i like having a genuine good old-fashioned how you go on convo you know it's just, 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 just fucking what you gotta do sometimes, right? Get a little bit of personality in there. It makes me happy, it does. And at least I don't sound like an American like I used to when I first started the YouTube, because that was a big meme. Hello, lady. Thank you for blocking the entire thing. Whoa, it is a busy section here. And, of course, you happen to just go there the moment I do. Well, I shall take this one. Thirteen dollars. Oh, that's why you ride bikes, baby. <laughs> hundred eighty k's. Not bad. It's about hundred miles. Plus a little bit, so it's like a hundred and twelve miles, something like that. I don't know. We don't use the imperial system here. We use the correct one. Oh, righty. Oh, sounds much better now. Oh, feels, feels better too. I can feel the weight difference. <laughs> it's always a bit strange when you realise that. If you really focus, you can notice when your, your tank is sort of empty and you're handling. And I mean, 
but very lightly. Jesus Christ. They started turning before I think they realised I was there. Welcome to the bike life, baby. Always a KFC bag in the fucking rut. But man, shit, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video so far. And I hope you've been enjoying everything I've been putting out lately. So do leave a comment. Let me know what you've been interested in. What videos you've liked more than the others. If you have any ideas, I'll be happy to take them. <laughs> but other than that, man, oh, it's just a good day to get on the bike, you know. I had a really quiet day at work because I only had one client. So I really didn't have to do too much, which was randy and dandy so it is what it is yeah like i was saying if you guys have enjoyed everything so far do leave a like comment and subscribe yeah and as always take it easy keep it cheesy be safe on them roads kids and as always peace bye